two moms who are on, on opposite sides of this debate. Please welcome proud stay-at-home mother for Claronda, who says when moms go to work, kids are left to raise themselves. And proud working mom of four, Shayna, who says stay-at-home moms create spoiled, entitled children. both of this because now I do a show, but bef bef the year before, I was home all day, even though my office was at my house, but I didn't have to go somewhere all day to be there from nine to five, which I think could probably be challenging for someone. And, and I think both are very, very challenging in different ways. And you could be great at both. If, you're, if you go to work and then come home and spend quality time with your kids before and after, uh, that could be just as much quality as a person who stays home all day but just puts their kids in front of the TV. So it depends upon how you invest your time, in my opinion. So what are you, what's your philosophy, Claronda? Well, I just feel like working moms, they piss me off because they leave their kids either to us to raise who are stay-at-home moms or the street raises them, they raise themselves or the television, you know? And it's really sad that we stay at home moms have to take up the slack for those who are working. Well, I disagree. I feel that that's a very closed mind opinion mm -hmm. of working moms. I feel that working moms definitely, we spend quantity, I mean quality time over quantity. How do you so, do that when you're not there? I'm just wondering, I totally I disagree. What are your time. hours? So not quantity. Yeah, what, what are your I, hours? What are my hours? Yes. I work 40 plus hours a week sometimes. Sometimes I work less. I am definitely one that, I have a husband, so we're a team. Okay. So we raise our children together, and I definitely... Also, also, Coranda, you know, it depends upon the ages that we're talking about. If you have kids that go to school, your kids can be in school from nine to three. So if a mom's at work from nine to five, you're really talking about two hours, and your kids have activities afterwards. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what, what are I you mean, talking about? Okay, just say this. These parents, the mothers who are married, I just think they should stay at home. Be there for your kids. But what are they doing all day when their kids are at school? Well, they can they can read, they can take up a hobby, or they can work at home. Well, see, that's why There's I disagree. There's nothing wrong with that. I feel that One working second, moms... excuse me. What I'm saying is, when you drop your children off at 9 o'clock in the morning, okay, the kids go to safe at 6 o'clock in the morning. What are you doing all you day? You don't see your child what until are you doing all day? that evening. Now, now, how can you come your home... Your kids are in school and learning. ...and for your children? Who's there when those kids need someone to You're there to when they come you? home to do their These homework? These kids where I live, they have to walk home by themselves. If they lose something at a bus stop, their parents aren't gonna get off of their job to go get it. They're gonna want someone else to do it or the child suffers. Well, I disagree. I'm I very much disagree. You, I, I believe like that stay at home working moms, moms, you can rule pick up your kids, drop your kids off. Okay, okay, let Shane. I definitely... Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> That's all right, she's passionate. Okay. I'm very passionate about Children. what I believe. So, I definitely, I definitely, I, I, I have the luxury, I pick my, I, I take my kids to school and then my husband picks them up. So they have both parents involved. They have the connection. We have, a, we have a team philosophy and I grew up on, it takes a village.